What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. Hey, hey. With my mic. <laughs> well then. Hey, I saw it on the forum. Nice job sticking to it, it to that stalker. My fans on the Fishiano website came in handy, didn't it? What are you talking about? It's okay. You don't have to say it. I know deep down in my heart it was this useful. Anyway, I'm in Shibuya right now. I'd love it if you could come hear me out about your future actions. I'll be waiting at the diner in Shibuya. You gotta swing by. What is he up to? Things bad, you know, with the special activities. Ah, oops, <laughs> sorry about that. I uh, haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. I've been staying up managing the fan site all night, every night. I think it's called PR. I don't understand. <laughs> you want to know more? Basically, there's no point to taking down bad guys if nobody's gonna know about it. That's why I've started a blog for posts from people you guys saved, while filtering out the haters. We need the Phantom Thieves to be seen in the proper light if we want to make the name popular, right? This is just... It, it literally... It is just... Politics. It is He is just politicking the Phantom Thieves right now, and I don't know how to feel about that. Really necessary? Of course it is! The principles the Phantom Thieves represent really resonate with me. I mean, you guys are bringing rotten adults like Kamoshida to justice. How could I not be on board with that? So, actually, I really want to know how you punish people. Don't worry, I'm not gonna ask. It wouldn't be any fun if you just up and told me. Then why the hell did you ask? After all, the Phantom Thieves have a reputation for being secretive. I... I wish I could be more like you guys somehow. But I'll still be here to draw attention to the stuff you do. You can leave that part to me. I'm gonna use my fan site to promote the Phantom Thieves and weed out any negative comments. Your popularity is going to be at my mercy. Or, uh, at my fingertips. It's like I'll be your strategic image management representative, so to speak. You're really hyped for this. <laughs> just you wait. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that title's more than just for show. <sighs> I've got to say, though, Managing the Phantom Thieves' reputation is tiring work. The forum gets all sorts of weird posts, including tons of things unrelated to reforming society. It'd defeat the purpose of the site if the truth of the Phantom Thieves was buried among all that garbage. Oh, but you don't need to worry. I'll sort through all the trash. Speaking of which, I've actually already found some worthwhile info about our very own school. Our quest to boost your popularity can start close to home. I'll give him my all. I might be overworking myself, though. <sighs> Man, I'm exhausted. I think I'd fall asleep on the spot if I weren't talking to you. I should head home. See you later. Okay. Grand boy, listen to this. I was checking the fan site earlier and found a bunch of hater comments about the Phantom Thieves. 
got me so mad. I'm not even sleepy anymore. At this point, I might as well f pull an all-nighter fighting back. Okay, whatever. Nice hustle, image manager. Strategic image management prep. Title is important. Try to remember the whole thing, okay? Well, I'm gonna work my butt off. Just watch me. Well, duty calls. I better set out for the battle of the fan site. Time for a wild night of modding and banning. Hey. <sighs> Ah, yes. What's up? Taxation shed. Biometrics. We don't need any of those, honestly. Hey, hey! Eh, we're good. Mm. Shut up. It is Sunday. We get to drink our little spoon. Welcome. Well then. Alrighty, let's see. Let's go D Let's work here. Oh. Okay, I think this one we have to memorize. What did you say? Okay. Ugh. Let's see. I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. Because mom memory ain't that good. Let's see. Medium. Big cube. You appear to have a difficult time there. Can't you ask your manager to hire more people? You are extremely busy. Employees being overworked is becoming a real thing in the workplace. That's concerning. Mm -hmm. I should remember this. Well then, I'll see. I'll you leave again. my payment here. Thank you for the food. Hey, hey! Wasn't that the politician who gives speeches in front of the station? He was worried about employees in the workplace, huh? Well, I think he knows who you are now. We should go to the station square again sometime soon. Woo. Money. Man. What? Woo, what's up with the goggles? Oh, more, more. Ugh. Morning. What's up? Uh, mm. Allergies? Allergies? Oh, uh, maybe. I do feel kind of dazed and everything feels weird, but, um, actually, I've been having this feeling that someone's watching me. Uh, I hope not. Oh, Maybe I just can't shake off the feeling of infiltrating a palace. At the palace, we're always cautious of not being noticed, you know? So it has to be my imagination. <laughs> yeah. Always 
Something like somebody's watching me. Um, hey, don't you think the atmosphere at school is kind of different now? You mean with there being no Kamashita? No dip. Yeah, nobody ever talked about him out in the open like this before. True. I wish someone would just thank us for it or something. Either way, everything has worked out for the best. After all, Kamashita is actually being punished for his crimes. That's victory enough for me. I agree. I wonder what's gonna happen to him now. I mean, he's a famous criminal at this point, right? He's gonna have to deal with people hating him forever. That might be true, but I don't have any sympathy for him. He got what he deserved, for sure. Cool. Sure. Hey, I have some new info for you. I saw it on the fan site. I've heard about it at school too. Anyway, there's a guy, guy at school whose bullying has gone too far. I want to help the victim, but that's impossible for me. Bet the band fan thieves could do something about it. I mean, you already changed the heart of that stalker, so this should be a breeze, right? Sure, whatever. You're amazing. The bully is a brown-haired guy frequently seen standing out in front of the school entrance. From what I can tell, his name is Dasuke Nakanashi. Nakanashi. Whatever. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm American. I don't. I don't pronounce things well. I know you can handle this. Cool. Thank you. Let's go. Uh, let's go. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just literally just saying we can go into the mementos anytime. Bye. Hmm. Okay. Nope. I'm gonna recheck because I want to see hot doctor cool character. Don't mind the barking in the background. I have a great Dane. Allergies are so annoying. I want to do a big old trial. Please head to the exam room. Hmm. Let's see. Eyes are focused. Look this way. One, two, three. Oh. Nothing yet, huh? The inside of my mouth feels like, like it's burning and my nose is itchy. Oh. Oh, there it is. The inhibitor Yep. In fact, it's just as I <laughs> no. Your weight was the primary reason it took longer to kick in than expected. Yes, this is what I expected from a teenager. We're making great progress. Practice makes perfect, right? Okay, hold tight. Once I compile all this data, we can move on. Hello. How can I help you? An emergency, huh? But we're not a designated hospital. Besides, the head technician here is Te Takam Takami. Wow. Awfully rude. Just hanging up on a lady like that? What's that about? No, oh, he basically just got the wrong number. An ambulance driver was looking for a transfer location. All the designated hospitals are full. But to think they'd accidentally call a general practitioner. Must have been a new paramedic. He seemed to at least know my name, though. I've been blackmailed by the larger medical community. They call me the plague due to a grave medical error I made. Here. <sighs> this goes back to my old job. I used to work at a university hospital in the city. I was never actually convicted of anything, but I'm still considered a pariah in the medical industry. Does that scare you? Participating in clinical trials run by a doctor like that? I don't mind. You seriously are one strange kid. 
Well, that's fine. Being ostracized has enabled me to focus on my own research and development. <laughs> Regardless, I look forward to working with you. I'll be sure to add some additional medicine for you, my little guinea pig. Should, please stop calling me that, please. That is such pedophilia, please. I, I can see that even Reginald is a little All right. uncomfortable with this. Hello? Dr. Takami's Clinic of Internal huh? Medicine. Huh? One order of teriyaki chicken. You're all good for today. You can go home now. Come again soon if you're still alive. Take care. I have to talk to you about something. You haven't told anyone about my drugs, right? Um, of course not. Okay, I mean, part of the deal is that you're strictly prohibited from sharing anything that happens here, so I guess I'll believe you for now. Feels like I've been getting a lot more patients asking for drugs lately. I wonder where they keep hearing about me. It's been really bugging me. That's all I wanted to ask, I guess. Uh, okay, see you soon. Ah, you're back. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about the beef bowl. Uh, da, 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 da. I should have lovers. Oh, yes, I have a picture. Cool. So we're gonna. Study with on. Uh. Oh, shut up, Morgana. Looks like you're attending school seriously. You also seem pretty close with Takamaki-san if you're both coming to school together. You just transferred here, though. I guess you two really click. We're in the same class. I see. You seemed a lot closer than that yesterday morning. I heard she was a victim of Mr. Kamoshida. But was that all there was to it? Either way, closer inspection should clear everything up. Goodbye. You know, knowing that, uh, uh, knowing who she is, I'm not as like. Hold on, I got uh, a hand period. This is it. Knowing who she is, I'm not that scared. But um, knowing, I'd never noticed that she has red eyes. What are your so thoughts? I'm a little. I'm a little scared now. Regardless. Alright. I do have a chariot. Lever's chariot. Yeah, I think I should be fine with all of these. So I'm gonna go down. Oh, we're gonna hang out with on. Great, big open spaces like this are great. I think my training is going to go super good today. So remember how I said before that I want to strengthen my heart? Well, I came up with a way to do it. How's that? Um, I 
think having a strong heart means you don't let anything get under your skin. So basically, I want you to say stuff to me and I'll try not to get phased by it. What kind of stuff? <laughs> We've already started. I won't let that hesitation shake me. I guess I should say something on. Come on, hit me with your best shot. You're an airhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And? Let me stop ya. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What else? Can we stop ya? You're giving up? That means I win! Huh? Wait, is this how the game is supposed to go? Oh well. On to round two! Yes. Bring it on! Uh, this won't help your heart. You know, I kind of feel like this won't make our persona stronger. You're right. Hmm. Something's not right. Sorry. All right, I just got an email from my agency. The next shoot is really far. Wait, what's this at the end? It's a notice saying to pay extra attention to the time and place they tell you. Apparently some models haven't been showing up at all lately. Then when asked why they didn't come, the models all say they heard there was a change in schedule. It sounds like shoots have been real hectic with all the scrambling they've had to do for substitutes. Has that happened to you? No, I haven't missed a single shoot so far. It probably really confuses the staff to see a sub showing up too. Hopefully it doesn't happen to me. Though, actually, my first modeling gig was as a sub. That was back when I was still in Finland. My parents didn't have enough models for their event. Oh, haven't I told you? Um. My parents are both fashion designers who put on some seriously extravagant shows. They jump from country to country, so I only really see them for half of the year. Maybe less these days. But freedom sounds nice. Yeah, I, I guess I can afford to be pretty relaxed these days. Plus, it would probably be tough being a phantom thief with my parents around, don't you think? It was rough when I was a little... It was just me and our live-in caretaker. I didn't really have any friends. Wow, that got dark fast. <laughs> yeah. But honestly, when I'm modeling, it almost feels like I'm connecting with my parents somehow. It's a nice hobby to have, but I don't think I'd want to make a living out of it. After all, that's where Kamashita first spotted me, and that's how our class started those rumors. Besides, the Phantom Thieves are more important to me right now. Nobody can be in my substitute there. Yes! That's why I need to get stronger. All right. Oh yeah. When I was little, I used to watch this anime where the main villain was this female thief. She'd lose to the hero every time, but I always thought she was cool. She wasn't really a good person, per se, but she was beautiful, strong, sincere, even sexy. She always said whatever she wanted, did whatever she wanted. She knew what justice was for her. I wanted to grow up to be just like her someday. <laughs> I hope I'm getting closer now, only just a little bit. Thanks for coming with me today. So after we meet, met up, I tried doing some runaway walks on the way home, like how a cool, sexy woman would walk. Then some girl who was watching me nearby started to copy me and runaway walked with me. She had to have seen me, right? 
Do you think she thought I was cool? Good. Uh, uh, could be. It's almost enough to make me blush. Kind of. To be honest, I feel kind of bad for her. She has no idea that the real me is a human disaster. I guess I've still got a long way to go, but I'm not giving up. I made a decision that I'm going to get stronger, so I need to overcome my obstacles. Thanks for hearing me out. Okay, bye! Yeah, she's a little bit of an airhead, but it, she uh, got everything all wrong, but hey, her morals are in the right place, I guess. Crossword. Hey, hey. Okay, so this one I actually had to look up. Um, I don't even know what this is. So it's Malay's. Doom's partner, Gloom? environmental science class right now. I should know this. Plant disease. are named as such due to the name of change of season and number of people who fall ill after the long tail of it. Huh. All right. Okay. Nice. See. Nice. Cool. Okay, this is this is 
your tumble. Your tumble on. Cognition. Wide assembly. Ever since that specific incident, many of you have voiced concerns that I could not bear to ignore. We believe the mental health of our student body is absolutely vital, so we've acquired the services of a therapist. The floor is yours, Doctor. Isn't he hot? <laughs> okay. Whoa, his voice is sexy. Stop. My name is. Uh huh. My name is Takuto Maruki. Thank you for welcoming me to your school. <laughs> no need to be formal with me, though. I'm just here to counsel anyone who's interested. You can even call me Doc if that would help you feel more comfortable. Any assistance you need, I'll be... Oh, I guess I'm not really any good for helping with money problems. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Maruki. Okay. Yo. You ever expect this place to actually give a shit about our mental health? Well, right. our schools made national news. Maybe they figured they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything for us. And Dr. Uh, Dr. What's his name? Maruki. Yeah, wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? <laughs> you really think he'll do us any good? Ryuji. Hey there. Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san, right? And that must make you... Say my name. Say my name. Crab boy kun How do you know our names? Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Those that had, uh, previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. It must have been especially tough for you after having just transferred here. I think I ended up in a castle. A castle? You idiot! Uh, <laughs> oh, looks like this guy didn't get much sleep last night! So... <laughs> What do you want with us? Ah, yes. I'd forgotten. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier. But would you three be interested in counseling? Nope, not at all. Huh? How's that surprising? You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah. But if you come to my office, you can have free snacks. All you can eat. Would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. So... How about it? Tell me more about these snacks. <laughs> hey! Don't fall for that! To be frank, I've been explicitly ordered to provide counseling to the students directly involved with Mr. Kamoshida. It's in the school's interest. For its students. Ah, the school's interest, huh? I know that asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself a lot. Making this mandatory wouldn't do you any good either. Might as well turn it into a worthwhile experience. Ooh, I know. If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. Like ways to hone your concentration before exams or not getting nervous on dates. How's that sound? Uh... I made good use of this. I may even my cancel dates at thirties too. There's also snacks. All right, all right, enough with the snacks. So, which way are you leaning? I'm gonna do it. 
I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Hmm, yeah. Really? Then, I guess it's a deal. I'll be in the nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever it's convenient for you. Well, we should get going. Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks for taking my counseling into consideration. Now that we have a deal, I promise I'll do my best to help you. Maruki is uh, one of the better characters in this game. In a, in, in a game full of really well thought out characters, he is one of my favorites. It's hard to believe an ordinary high school student could accomplish such grandiose heists. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences, and prepared to act without hesitating. There has to be someone who helped strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? Give me a name. I itch with the birth of a counselor persona. Cause of course. All right. So hold up, dude. Sorry for keeping you like this. Well then. Okay, quiet down. He's gonna go for it? What, counseling? Kinda sounds like we're being forced to. I told Marky I'd do it, but I don't know if I'm really that into the idea, you know? Let's do it! Yeah. Probably better not to draw more attention to ourselves anymore. Yeah, that sentence was, was really good. Good job, Riker. I think I'm gonna try going today. Yeah, I'm going today as well. Yes. <sighs> Welcome. Are you here for counseling session? Yeah, it's now a bad time. <laughs> not at all. I've, it's always a good time so long as I'm not already listening to a student. I'm so glad you're here. Would you care for a snack? Well, shall, shall we begin? Yeah, <laughs> that one. Oh, but first, just relax, alright? I'm, I'm only here to listen to whatever you wish to talk about. Yes. Sure. Although, I really only have one thing on my mind right now, anyway. Hmm. Yes, I, I'd say that makes perfect sense. But don't force yourself into talking with me. You could even just grab some snacks and be on your way if you wanted. <laughs> no, it's it's alright. I, I know I need to talk to someone about this anyway. That is, if you're willing to listen to the super long story. I absolutely am. Take all the time you need. Ugh, I see. That's such a horrible thing to do to someone. <sighs> yes, that's why I wanted to get even with him. For she mm, And? <sighs> At first, I thought Kamashira ought to face the same fate she was going to put herself through. But... But All right. later I realized that wasn't right. If he did take his own life, it wouldn't undo Shiho's suffering. In fact, it'd just make give him the easy way out. Right. Is that so? You know you are quite the wise, level-headed young woman, Takamaki-san. Huh? Uh, I think you got that wrong. No, uh, in fact, I think you're wiser than I was at your age. Uh, you're wiser than I was at your age. I wasn't anywhere near as mature as you are now. It's not like I did anything special, though. If I hadn't gone through my own share of hell, I don't think I'd be so mature either. I see. So, what's on your mind now? 
Hmm, right now, let me think. um, I'm just hoping Shiho will get better quickly. We both suffered a lot, but I just want to get back to laughing and having fun together like we used to. At this point, I don't give a rat's ass about Kamashita. Yeah. Now there's a healthy outlook. You can't change the past, but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it'd definitely be better if none of this had happened at all, but... Quite. <laughs> I definitely agree with you there. But it's impossible to wipe every tragedy from history. Yeah. If only, right? Everyone would be so much happier if we could actually do that. Oh, it seems I lost track of the time. We should wrap things up here for today. Thank you so much for coming to see me. Oh no, thank you. I feel a ton better now that that's off my chest. Be careful, okay? <laughs> Good, good to hear it. You deserve it. Feel free to stop by anytime. Okay. We'll do. Gonna See going. you around. Well, I went in for counseling. You're going soon too, right, Reginald? How'd it go? Well, it honestly wasn't as rough as I was expecting. I think you should just go and give it a shot. Dr. Mark, he's easier to talk to than you think. See you tomorrow. Hmm. How are you? Uh, hello! Are you here for a session as well? That's right. Is that so? Dr. Mark, he is a wonderful counselor. I've always I've actually been seeing him for a while. Before he even before he ever came to Shujin. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't know you were too acquainted. Don't go overselling me too hard, though, Yoshizawa-san. I'm really nothing special. <laughs> well, I need to get going. Please excuse me. All right, then. Let's say we get started. Welcome. Thank you for coming. We made a deal. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll try to make sure it's worth the trouble. I see. Hmm, thank you. I, I think I've gotten the full grasp of the situation you're in, Crime Boykin. Well, full disclosure, the school gave me a brief rundown of the circumstances surrounding your transfer here. Yeah, so much for my privacy. <laughs> I'm glad you've got a sense of humor about it, but yes, it's not exactly kind to you. I'm sorry. So, now that you've told me more about yourself, I think I've realized something. It seems like you've largely been able to reconcile your internal world with your external one. I should note that's really, truly impressive. Even most adults can't reliably manage that. How to put it, um, you know how everyone has an internal reality, some conception of themselves they're striving for, for example, like wanting to be a model student or wanting to be loved and relied on, that kind of thing. But that idealized reality is the one in actuality are, and the one in actuality are often far apart. That gap is responsible for a lot of people's pain. Not everyone can ace their exams, and, and not everyone can be the heroes they wish they could be. Hmm. You've already been through so much. That kind of suffering is usually enough to twist people up into dark places. But you, you're standing up to it and confronting a tough, painful reality. To me, that's incredibly admirable. Then again, Maybe that's a little weird for you to hear from a guy you just met, huh? But it sounds right. <laughs> Not even in any deflecting self-deprecation. You really are strong, Crime Boy Kun. 
I'm sorry. Let's see. Sorry, this went on longer than I expected. Somehow, the conversation just took on a life of its own, I guess. <laughs> Say. Hey, I've actually got one last request. Do you mind? You know, I... I'm actually doing certain research along with my studies as a counselor. It's not quite like counseling, more like a type of uh, psychological treatment. Basically, it's a project to learn more about people's metaphorical hearts. What they think, how they feel. How about it? And if I get far enough with it, I think it'll be able to help a lot of people. So... So what? Uh, oh, sorry. sorry. Oh, um, I, I guess I, my point is, I'd like to ask you to help with that research. All you'd have to do is listen to my theories and then tell me if they spark any ideas or realizations on your end. Please, any time's good for me. I can I can work around your schedule. And uh, I've got a lot of snacks too. You can have them. They're, they're all yours. Well, okay. Really? Yes, you're a lifesaver. Well, let's see. I know. Um, maybe I could teach you some tips for mental training. I hope I happen to know a lot on the subject. I'm, I'm sure I can cook up a special regimen for you. If you're dedicated enough, I'm sure you could draw your full potential. Thank you. Okay. I guess that's our second deal. <laughs> I know. Oh, right. Would it be okay if we traded contact information? I'll contact you when I've got time, or when I need some input from you. That should do it. Now. Now I'd better do my part to repay you. Let's let's talk about mental training and presence. All right. Axe age. Well, see you. Axe S P O five five. Yep. Good night. Shut up. <laughs> Should rest up for tomorrow. <sighs> My plant happy at least. Hey, hey. Ah, make sure it's happy. Oh. Sleepy. I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today's the last day of exams. Wait, staying up studying? Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. Duh, yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. Bull, you, you say that, but you probably just spent the whole night studying. Uh, morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. <gasps> Impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from this stupid monkey I know. Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. What was that? <sighs> Will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. <gasps> Am I imagining things? What's wrong? What? You see a groper or something? No, that's not it. It's nothing. Hmm? <laughs>
you sure it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? I'm not that... Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me, ever since the train! That's because... <laughs> my goodness! I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay... What? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? W wait a minute, I... Be the model for my next art piece. M model All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious. Shut up. You're just jealous, stupid cat. Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? <laughs> Hold your horses. Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm Motorame Sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Matarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese-style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke! I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Matarame? Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are you? I think I will. Crap, look at the time. I'll see you later. How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. Okay. Hey, hey can you, can I cat start, stop simping over Lady On? You became acquainted with Matarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Matarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart too. Were you related to those as well? Hmm, I see. Fine. Let's get back to Matarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. Hmm. Yep.
It's over. It's over. How about you? I'm not worrying about it. Oh yeah, I didn't think of that. You really should. Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know. Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi then, or domestic raised eel. You don't have that much left. Oh, right. There are those tickets to Matarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? <sighs> it's not like that. Oh, of course not. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Matarame, was it? I'm curious, too. Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? Fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. Well, if everyone's going... It's settled, then. It should be fun. Just the phrase, going to an art exhibit, sounds kind of mature. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Keeps thinking about what Nakanahara, Nakanahara said. Could we have been talking about the famous artist Madarami? No, about right. Seconded. Great. The same. The name really stood out to me. Yeah, I mean, you guys have ever heard of someone else called Madarami? Really not common at all. If what he, we heard is true, Takawa-kun is studying under a corrupt teacher. You mean a teacher who treats people like tools? Kitagawa-kun's life is probably pretty terrible. We gotta look into this. Oh! Uh, you think I go out with her? Hey, hey! Okay. Why is the cat setting up? I hate it. 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 So crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? You came. Um, yeah. You really came. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Will Lady Han be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? I told you not to come out. Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? Learn about Matarami. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say? What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. 
So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. Mm-hmm. Great artist in which only two people are really paying attention besides, you know, the people that are being paid to interview Madarame. Who would understand if you saw it? <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame-san is actually here? Over there. Okay, well. I'm so glad I came on... Hey, stop pushing! There's way too many people! I'm getting crushed! Anyways, we gotta head for the exit! Don't die on us, alright? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. He's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei! Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. This seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it! The painting I wanted to see in person! This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this... strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. Mm. Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than... this one. Come now, this way. Hey! Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. Thanks to that, I remember now. About what? Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Well then.
Thieves going by train. <laughs> this ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet. We didn't pay the pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Oh, kitty. Oh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. Your magic things. But I see its head popping out of your bag. Isn't that a kitty? It's um a toy. It meows when you press on its head. You heard her. Press on its head. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Wowie! Again, again. Time to button mash, baby. <laughs> The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya. Doors will open on the left side. Oh, this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye bye. Mm hmm. Bye bye. <laughs> Beautiful. So, which line do we got to transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. What? We gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist, looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. Cool. Mashida, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Who is it? Sensei is currently... Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. Takamaki. You two are here as well? Hey, sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? We read about it online. This? <laughs> of 
Preposterous. Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home. This is no act of violence, it is charity. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? The man's speaking like a true anime villain. Yusuke! What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors! Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this, and I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target too. How's the Metanav? Oh. Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Madarame has a palace too, right? But why? Madarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain! Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? Museum. Beginning navigation. Whoa, really? Yeah. When did you activate the nav? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Probably would have figured it out once it started walking on two legs. Arr. So even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that. Look! That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Let's go check it out. It's so extravagant. 
To the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? There are probably traps too. Yeah, all those old man's fans were super strong and all. That has nothing to do with this. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Yes! We're gonna have to wait in that gigantic uh... line. Don't be stupid, we're not going in the front door. There's a high wall around the building. Shall we go? We'll just have to find a way to get over it then. In any case, let's get going. Let's do it. guy's palace. Why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. It's somewhere. freaking out over mm. house this reflects its realist heart we may want to check these paintings out hmm. Hmm? Uh, explanation it's someone's name and age what the hell it can't be the title of the painting right do you think it's the artist's name hmm. let's check the other paintings too i think there might be something important about them hey hey Hey, 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 hey. Well, I'm looking at the other paintings, you stupid, stupid. Hey, this doesn't make any sense. Matarame's famous for having a variety of art styles, but all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the- Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the, the one who was shit-talking Matarame? Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. Painting of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Adorami's pupils. I think you're right. For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. Alright, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. 
Look at this. The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Manorame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it. What a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. When was the last time you heard Geezer? I've never heard that line before. Phony Geezer. Ooh. Real biting commentary here. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Matarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! He did say that he owes Matarame his life for being taken in. But still... When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Matarame? That's what I'm talking about! Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. <gasps> Besides, there's too much we don't know about Matarame yet. Mm, you're right. Okay, alright, hold on. This stupid cat has been telling us that, you know, everything that's in the palace is part of, you know the ruler's cognition and after hearing what is in this palace it means that the plagiarism and abuse is actually happening so why the hell why the hell is Morgana the person to automatic to now be like well we gotta make do we add double, triple, quadruple check on this, boys? I don't know. I'll <sighs> try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? Shut up. You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. A famous, renowned artist, huh? Well, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real phantom thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. I just... Uh, never noticed that Morgana was like that before. Oh my god. Uh, do you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? Not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Katakuba-kun, Matarame isn't a problem. What do you mean? I 
mean, I know Monorama is a bad person, but still, maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that part's totally different from what happened with Kamashita. This might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. No, don't. <laughs> If a man was corrupt before, then man is still corrupt. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I believe in the change of some human beings. But, but uh, if you, you cannot write off, you know, what is happening. You cannot write off what is happening because of that optimistic way of thinking, you know? I don't know. So we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Matarami's worth going after or not? I don't know, if, you, if it were me, I'd never forgive that bastard. <sighs> Alright, can you ask Yusuke on? I got it. I guess we can talk more about this after that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what is the I mean, probably, knowing that, you know, uh, <laughs> abuse has a way of traumatizing. Some people don't know that they are being abused, so probably. I knew it. It ain't like he thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while, while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. Not just adults. I'm not wrong, am I? You're right. <laughs> Thanks. Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Uh, seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. Contacted Katagawa Kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Speak for yourself. It's kind of actually kind of hard. Look, you don't gotta go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Monorame, right? That's true. It sounded like Katagawa Kun wants this to be a private picture of his, though. I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. I got a response from Kitagawa-kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Got a hold of Mishima today? And it'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Okay, see you later. We finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, Han's late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? 
Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Matarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Something seem different about her to you? Hold, hold the phone. You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm What's wrong with preparing? Hey, did she cut her pants? Oh, oh my god. Oh, nice eye. I didn't cut them. Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? Hmm. You hear her? <sighs> it's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Don't get caught. Huh. Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei's seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still. <sighs> Kitagawa-kun. Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. You okay with this? I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. 
If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! What?! Nude?! Ah... Uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model! Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans. But please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? We have to leave. Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! Huh? Is she done being a model? A cat? You moron! He's totally out of his mind! I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up! How dare that, Yusuke! The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna drop Keep it in your pants. You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? I am not. Madarame is no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke, who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses, too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Kitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Probably. No way! Hell no! We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Hey, 
uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Uh, huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? Ryuji knows. Me? I don't know nothing. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. I guess we should go home for today. Specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person and that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Nakanohara? That's. I told him to approach you. Good luck. Oh, something to think about him on Rame. Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Manorame stealing his work. Is that true? That journalist was looking into Manorame too. It could be real. Someone died though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Kitakawa-kun has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he's probably gonna be on edge about us. Anyway, Madarame is still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. In that passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. Coop. Anyway. Okay. I guess we can just yeah. hello. to head to the hideout too who's that excuse me that's nakanohara mishima told us to meet him here in shibuya today for real my name is nakanohara natsuiko nakanohara the one who was posted about on the phantom aficionado website he seems pretty nice doesn't seem like the stalker type i think the change of heart must have worked the administrator of that website contacted me they told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. So, what do you want? You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. An artist by the name of Madarame. <gasps> you think this is it? Is the pupil going to confess his master's secrets? The shadow did mention Madarame as well. I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home. Where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well. A very talented man. Multiple years my senior. Obviously Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim though. 
Right. We got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Matarone's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Matarame's name. That was when I disobeyed Matarame's orders and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf, working at a ward office. But it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon, I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> I'd like to ask again. Please, make Madarame have a change of heart. Not only for me. It's to save the life of another man as well. What do you mean? Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. That has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame. And you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Kitago Akun. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice, but I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. We've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. Hell yeah! Madarame's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak! Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitago Akun really feels. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Madarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. <laughs> what? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey, what is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that, but my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means... June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen here! We can't mess this up, no matter what! Okay? Alright, I will be... Okay. Right.
Okay. I have to keep the uh, dog in my room so he gets a little chatty. My apologies. Now we are not going to start infiltrating today. Have a bit of. Sorry, I have a child I need to have examined. Oh. Looks like I have a patient with an emergency. And? So why come here? Aren't you under the care of another hospital? I've heard rumors about this place. I'd like for you to examine her. She was diagnosed with bronchitis, but the medicine she was given hasn't been working at all. She has a fever that won't go away, and she's losing weight because she's not hungry. A young girl losing weight is definitely not good. You should go to a bigger hospital. I can't provide a little thorough examination here. We've been going to a big hospital. A university hospital in East Shinjuku. Yeah, I know, Eroy. East Shinjuku. <laughs> but all they... Oh, shit. Fucking... But all they tell us is that it's persistent bronchitis. The University Hospital in East Shinjuku. The doctor there performs exams like he's on an assembly line. I think he's famous or something. Famous doctor, huh? I'm just a general practitioner over here in the sticks. As you can see, I don't even have any staff. Wait, I, I, I've heard there's a medicine that can only be acquired here. Please, I'll pay you. Please, at least just examine her. Hey. Hold on. Kiff cough. Doctor, my chest really hurts. Doctor Tonic. Fucking. She will help! What? what? Doctor. <sighs> Fine. Hmm. Is your vision blurry? How about your throat? Does it hurt? No signs of swelling. Are you sure you've told me everything about her symptoms and treatments you've tried so far? Yes, I'm sure. Hmm. Hello? Hello? You're a Harasan. It's Dr. Schwe Schweitzer? There's something I'd like to ask him about a case that was in last month's medical journal. Let's see. Guess the ones in the stock will have to do. There's a shelf up by the reception desk. Bring the contents of the second drawer into the examiner. You'll need to help me administer the medicine. Also, bring the beaker with the red label in the fridge, a towel, wash basin, and measuring spoon. Fine. Well, what are you waiting for? Get moving! Thank you so much. I, I didn't expect her to recover so quickly. Hmm. It was a very unique strain of an infectious disease. It can't be detected by conventional exams. I temporarily suppress the symptoms. We'll make adjustments at her, uh, as her condition improves. That'll be one million yen for today. A million yen? That's outrageous! You're completely taking advantage of... I mean... Alright, I agree to pay. You don't take credit cards, do you? I'll go withdraw some cash right now. What? Oh, wait, you're actually going to pay? By the way... That famous doctor you mentioned earlier, was it medical chief of staff Oyama, Oyamada? Yes. Uh, are you familiar with him? I knew it. In that case, I'll make this trip free of charge. 
free. <laughs> you seem happy. Doesn't it feel good? Treating his patient without permission. By the way. Thanks to your outburst earlier, I'm going to perform a very special exam on you today. This was your assistant? He seems awfully young. Yes, my assistant guinea pig. He's about to put in a lot of hard work today, aren't you? Doctor, can I go back to school now? Not for a while. You need to start eating and regain your strength first. Can you do that for me? Yes, thank you, doctor. <laughs> Don't mention it. Your turn. I wonder what kind of response you'll have this time. Maybe you won't even be able to make it home. Again, this this storyline is so cool until you it, it is is very cool and sexy and all that stuff until you realize pedophilia. <laughs> How are you feeling now? Today's drug was kind of a rough one, huh? Maybe it was just what my careless little guinea pig did. Shut up. Especially after approving that girl's consultation without my permission. I'll reflect on my mistakes. But shut up. But I'm only letting this go today. Don't pull anything like that again. The drug does seem to be more stable compared to the early stages, though. It's probably thanks to your cooperation. Feels like I'm almost there, so... Try not to die just yet, okay? Alright, take care. Ugh. Where art is shown off and sold. Museum. Yeah. Wall artwork. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what it is. I'm. Yeah. I can't. All right. Nice. Not that well versed in. In a uh, finer arts museums and all that stuff. Okay, let's go talk to... Oh, stop it. Let's talk to... Politician. Hmm? Please, consider what I have to say. You. You're listening quite extensively. Are you interested in politics? Really not. Really not. Captivate the audience of someone mm -hmm. your age. Seen you somewhere before. You were working at the bowl, beef bowl shop before. You have a lot of perseverance for a young person. If you'd like. If you're interested, I could use your help. I want to change the state of this country, and to do so, I need the power of the youth. However, due to certain regulations, I can't offer a job to a student. You, it, I was thinking you could learn some things if you choose chose to attend a few of my speeches, though. Really? That would be helpful indeed. Well, then, would you mind telling me your name and contact information? You're a student from Shujin Academy. Hmm. It's nice to meet you. 
I am Taranosuke Yoshida. <sighs> I used to be a member of the Diet, no longer. In the past 20 years, I've lost seven straight elections. This isn't good. I'm dwelling on the negative right before my speech. Very well. well then, I hope I can count on you on your help immediately. Everyone. The lines of what is considered right and wrong in society today have been blurred. With common sense no longer our guide, we make decisions based on our selfish wants and desires. This has resulted in a deluge of self-centered people who delight in taking advantage of the weak. However, even in this modern day and age, it is imperative that we act in the best interests of all. A world where it is acceptable to tamp, trample on the rights of others for their own benefit. A world where the young exist only to be exploited is a world that must be changed. Easy for him to say. Old timers like him have our hands full taking care of ourselves. He's actually making some good points, but he's at no name. He probably won't get too far. Nothing's going to change. We'll just keep getting we'll just keep getting exploited. What's this wannabe politician blathering about? He isn't even affiliated with a party. How about you just leave matters of state in the capable hands of the liberal co-prosperity party? You mustn't base your decisions on whom to support merely according to the party they belong to. Shut up already, you're just a washed up politician. If I am chosen to represent the will of the people, then I am fully prepared to. In the interest of all, ha! Save the blathering for when you get elected. If you get elected. Thank you. That is all for today. Well, what do you think of my speech? Well, the heckling. Hmm? Don't worry about that. Such as I am, I'd like to believe that I'm capable of giving a moving speech. However, there are times like today when the audience has a difference of opinion on a topic. Some feel I should concentrate on getting elected before I worry about others. Do you agree? You have my support. Thank you. It's encouraging to know that my message has won you over. Besides, I have grown quite accustomed to those type of reactions. No. Though, I don't know if that is necessarily a good thing. Regardless, no matter what they say, I must continue on. Well then, I shall see you again soon. So, it's you. You did use this line before, now that I think about it. I hope you understand. Allow me to warn you again. Don't involve yourself any further. Why? Don't play dumb. I'm saying you're an inconvenience. I won't forgive you if you continue making a mockery of my sensei. Am I clear? This is a warning. Okay. Hmm. It is 
raining right now. Is there any books? Welcome. There is. It's really coming down. I'm going to check, check for now. Save the money for now. Alright, let's go to the stats while it's raining. Oh. Kun contacted me, asking you to model for him again? No. He said outsiders who do not understand my circumstances should refrain from butting in. If you continue to involve yourselves, I will be forced to contact the police. Told me the same thing. He texted you too? I think we gotta stop trying to convince him. He's not gonna listen to anything we have to say. I think he's just being obstinate at this point. Pretty sure he can sense something is wrong, but and the only reason he made that impossible demand was to try and distance us from him. You think? He just seems like a weird, stubborn dude to me. Guess that does fit the artist's stereotype. Either way, what we gotta do ain't gonna change. We have to steal Madarama's heart. Hey yo. It is true to using noise to cause distract. Nice going. Play a show on TV. Get knowledge. Ooh, smarty. Now go to the map. Now listen up. I think get more. Oh, but it's raining as well. Mm. Mm. What do you want to do? What's up? Top score on the exam, get extra time. Must surely be accustomed by two infiltrating palaces by now. Somewhat. Regardless, you have yet to obtain a truly acceptable number of personas. The 
this is not the poten full potential of the power of the wild card. I suppose this is a prime opportunity to help further your rehabilitation along. Don't worry, this assignment is not mandatory. Think of it almost as a test of strength. This assignment. Now. We will have you bring us the mask we specify. Huh. You just gotta show us the persona we ask for. First off, we would like for you to bring us a Jack Frost. <sighs> That's too easy, Justine. It should be a challenge. I want it to have Mubufu too. Listen up, inmate. Farewell. Cool. I already have that. <laughs> Do you need something? Uh, wait. We're gonna you. summon it. Justine, you these are the paths you have walked. Is this what you want? You always draw this for this is your power. Done already? What? Do you need something? Now. Hmm? Sit right there. It seems you brought the specified persona. Huh. Fine, I'll take it. By the way, your personas are super weak. Not that I'm surprised, inmate. Though I guess you deserve at least some praise for finishing your penal labor. You might actually complete your rehabilitation. In order to promote that process, we would like to offer you the use of a new facility. <laughs> it's rare to see you smile, Justine. You are the smiling one, Caroline. Did something happen to make you so joyful? Me? <gasps> hey! Are you laughing at us? Know your place, inmate! As wardens, we simply feel satisfaction in seeing your rehabilitation progress. That is the extent of it. I find it upsetting that you would see such a matter as a source of amusement. It's like you forget where you are, inmate. You've got some real guts, though. With that spirit, you should have no trouble making progress. Very well, then. If you have the will to continue your penal labor, we can grant you greater freedom within this prison. It is a deal between us the wardens and you the inmate not like you have the right to turn it down though hard work is what you're meant to do inmate I get you. all right now it's time for your next task Farewell. I'm Ano Uzume with the skill fray. Hey. Cool. The inmate. Let's execute him. Can you gather them up? All right. Let us begin the search. Not terrible, but not impressive. I am from not terrible, but not impressive. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It's power. <laughs> I see. Okay with this? I see. A strong persona indeed. But I don't want to get rid of my boy McCoy. Fine. Select so the I skills you'd like to inherit. Yes. Ugh. It will receive the girls. Let us begin.
looks pretty tough. What are you? Anyway, that's me. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Um, I want to regenerate. I guess I can. I don't have to worry about guards. It will receive of girls. Right Let now. us begin. Go sell our treasures to UI. Probably grab some new guns too. Picked it up somewhere, nothing to do with me, understand? I didn't see it. I didn't touch it. I'll know about it. Clear? That's it. Go home. Go window shop somewhere else. Hey! Come on. Huh? All right. You should be grateful. Okay. All right, which one? Sounds good. Hmm, that will be better not use it to pull a prank. That's what don't break it, okay? Alright, I am getting everybody a gun mm, except like for it? the stupid cat. Alright, alright, which one? You're only, you're only getting low fear out of that? I think it's better just to save up for now then. Okay, sounds good. What you're choosing? How's that? Yeah. Grateful. 
Your rehabilitation seems to be going smoothly. Thanks to you. Excellent. I expect no less. I've prepared a special gift for you. I must reward such ex exemplary conduct. Use this power well. Traits. Cool. Huh. Our master is extending incredible kindness. Shed tears with joy, inmate. <laughs> Your personas are Marvelous. born from the masks of your heart. They come in all manner of shapes and sizes. You must master the inner workings of each persona to draw out its power. Do that and they will surely be of great use to you on your journey to rehabilitation. Then... If you have any other business, you may tend to it now. Well, I'm glad that I did all of that. Done already? What? No slacking off. Of that for... I am on the Hey. Come on. I should write something. I will say, I'm going to try beating up one of these guards. It's somewhere. Yes. Okay, never mind. On, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll reveal your true form. Now's our chance to strike. Use wings to hit its weak point. Persona. Having different. I don't think so. This isn't it. Victory. 
I'll reveal your true form. Reveal your true form. Wow, that shadow was crazy. Looking cool. Boom time. Go. It's not over yet. It's almost scary how good I am. It's almost scary how good I am. Step forward. Okay. Shadow defeated. Oh, I didn't know you could see me. Oh. Okay. What? They took us by surprise. He's free, but be careful. Uh. Keep going. Show me your true form.
sensei. Reveal your true form. Treasure chip. There's a strong shadow ahead. Show me your true form.
you, Joker. Let's go. A spectacular victory. All right. My bad. Okay. Woohoo! Nice. That was Harry. What an idea! Hmm. I have something. Look, a treasure chest. Hey, wait a second. You're just gonna ignore that golden sheen? Hmm. Look at that luster. I know it might be tough to take with us, but don't you think it'd sell for tons? Come on, we didn't come here to be hold on, you're stepping on something. Isn't this bad? Oh no. I tripped the security. Uh, and you were the one making us be careful, too. So, what do you want to do? Run out of here? No, passing through all of these lasers will draw far too many enemies to our location. Oh, hold on! Joker's not trapped! Sorry, Joker, but we're going to need you to search for a way to turn off these infrared lasers. This is a museum, so there has to be some switch to let the workers avoid these lasers. Find it. Reveal your true form. Let's go. Go down. Persona. Why did you go twice? All right. Hmm. We defeated them. Okay. We did. We, all of us. Seriously, th 
Thank you. on it from here show me your true form wow that shadow is crazy persona cool. looking cool joker this one is weak to fire go it's not yeah. over yet Sorry. Whoa. W wait. As I was saying. Vicious. Reveal your true form. Hmm. Wait, for real? Persona! Take this! Oh, 
this Persona! Persona! Go down! Actually, let's see real quick. All right. I should write something. Reveal your true form. There's a dangerous one in there. for right now. And then Ryuji, what do you have on? Garu. Oh no, you have Breath Rain, which is like one. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Focus. Show me your true form! There's a dangerous one in here! There! Looking cool, Joker! Oh, it's because it's like 15. I don't know. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Horses 
through me. Okay. Sat, piece of cake. Show me a true form. Victory. Huh? I'll reveal your true form. Whoa! This is amazing! Let's go! <laughs> Whoa! The hell? Are these infrared lasers? There's no way we can get past them! This level of security only proves there's something worth protecting up ahead. There's something written on the sign. All personnel.
personnel, this door can only be opened via the security room that lies beyond it. Please be cautious, as it is impossible to open from the outside. So, it's never gonna open? How are we supposed to get past? Wait, that door. I think I've seen that pattern somewhere. Oh, right. There's no mistaking it. That's the same door I saw earlier. Guys, let's head back. Huh? Why? I think I know what real world door that's based on. There may be another way to open it. In any case, I'll explain later. Come on, let's go. Let's head back. Just add this. <laughs> you want to see if I can get to that? Um, there's a will seed down here. I can feel it. Oh. Oh. Hey. Huh. Yeah. Show me your true form. What? Okay. Well, I can use one more. You're mine. Cool. Looking cool, Joker. I have to use some. Dance party. Let's do that again, Panther. Let's do this. Let's do that again, Panther. Don't move. Me. I'm getting some bad vibes from show me your true form. Oh, 
of Madarame's will see. <laughs> Our first will seed of the palace. Let's keep oh, searching yes. the area. to explore for now. For some reason, let's execute them. What path do you want? Nothing. Not terrible, but not impressive. I mean, I, I, I guess I'll fuse it. You okay with this? Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Uh, da, 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 da. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It's power, my, my. Just so I can have a temperance in, in case I don't have it yet. You can't handle this. Not terrible, but not impressive. Been done already? What? It is time, inmate. Alrighty. Door. I don't know. You think there's some kind of off switch somewhere? Looks like this is where I come in. Mona? I have a suspicious place in mind. Remember? This shack is the basis for Madarame's palace. I actually scouted it out the last time we were here. Oh, so this was your plan from the start? Correct. You only went scouting because you were bored. So, where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. But don't we want to be opening the door in the palace? Yes. And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Madarame's eyes. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. In other words... When we open the one in Madarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own? I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that gonna work? Trust me, there's no chance it won't open. I think. You understand, don't you, Joker? Can't hurt to try. Well, yeah, but... Why don't you trust me? It's worth a try. But even then, there's still that hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Ugh, that'll be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. It will take some time, though. Doing everything by myself in front of Madarame would be impossible. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh. 
Oh. And how are we even gonna get into his house? <laughs> We'd get reported for sure if we force ourselves in. What? I guess the only way is having you go nude. What? Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. This isn't funny! I'm not saying you should really get naked. It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Madarame's house without raising suspicions. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady An. This is way too sudden! I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is! Don't worry, I'll accompany you. But that's still technically only me! Worst comes to worst, what if I get found out? We can run into the palace. Or something. Is that really gonna work? I mean, you're not giving me much confidence in this plan. Do I have to be the bait? No way. But what if, you know, uh, um, nothing. All you gotta do is trick Yusuke, have him take you to that room, then just open the door. You make it sound so easy. But if there's no other way, I don't... Uh, I don't... I don't have a choice. Uh, God! Fine, I'll do it. For justice. Seriously, you better pull this off. If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, all right? If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down. I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open. Got it? We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. All right, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Tomorrow? Earlier the better. Um, but uh, will Kitagawa-kun agree? I don't know. Just say something like, I really need it to be tomorrow. That should work, yeah? Look. Okay. You get in touch with Yusuke? Um... Asked me to come by tomorrow. Ha! <laughs> he fell for it. Um, do I really have to do this? It's the only way. I know, but still, man, this is such a pain. You gotta open that door and have Monorami see it, right? Yeah, we're gonna say that'll change his cognition. I don't get it. Oh, and one more thing. Let us know if any weird shit goes down, and we'll be there to back you up ASAP. Got it. A palace is a reflection of how its owner views the real world. So if Madarame's cognition of reality changes, it's only natural that his palace would be affected. And all jokes aside, we really will need Lady An to strip for Yusuke. It's the only way. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. from going there so all we can do is wait here no you two have something different you'll need to do what do you mean you have to wait inside the palace once that door opens sneak in and look for some kind of control room we need to make sure the door can't close anymore after it's open oh I get it 
Okay, you can leave that to us. To think you'd really come. I assumed you were lying when you contacted me. I'm sorry it was so sudden. Oh, it's not a problem. But, as I told you yesterday, Sensei will be returning in about 20 or 30 minutes. So, um, I'm sorry if that causes some anxiety on your part. That's why I'm here today, damn it! What was that? Oh, no! It was nothing! By the way... Have you gained some weight? You think so? I weigh the same as always. Maybe I'm bloated today. So then, can you, um, get ready here? I need to take my clothes off, right? Yes, please. I'm embarrassed. Uh, could you look the other way? <sighs> oh. <sighs> that was tight. Tight? No, I'm doing this for art. Don't look over here, okay? Hey, your sensei is coming back soon, right? I believe so. Hmm. Do you think we could do this somewhere else then? A little more atmosphere would be lovely. This should be good enough. But wouldn't a room with a lock be a bit better? A lock? <laughs> Must a girl say more? But the only one with a lock is Sensei's room. Then why not there? I can't intrude. Besides, I don't have the key. <sighs> he says he doesn't have the key. It's okay. That's why I'm here. I'll just use this hairpin. Takamaki-san, are you about... You were wearing all this? Uh, don't you think it's cold today? <laughs> I suppose so. The sun is starting to set. Right? That's why a change of location would be nice. I mean, I'm gonna take it all off. True. It might make for a better picture if I can brighten my model's mood. Uh-huh, that's right. She may even be willing to try out various expressive poses for use in a dynamic composition. W what kind of poses? Lady On, you have to act. Get back in character. <clears throat> Let's go. I was just starting to get in the mood. Wait, if you wander around, Sensei will... Oh, it's so hot. We really can't use any other room. Hey, why not this one? Please wait. I'm counting on you, Mona. Are you seriously going to be able to pull this off? She was saying stuff like, I'll just seduce him with my acting, but that sounds out of her league. Plus, we ain't got one sign this place is gonna open. Isn't Matarame coming home soon? On top of that, even if Mona's able to unlock the door, how's he gonna show it to Matarame? And then even if they do show it open, any normal person would just close it right up again. Doesn't that mean we only got a few seconds to get in? To be blunt, won't it be a miracle if this works? It'll definitely work. I want to think that too, but it's almost time. How would you know?
Yusuke? All right, it's open. Huh? What are you doing there? It's it's not what it looks like. What? Not in there. Uh, nothing's happening. I wonder what's. Hmm? off they seriously did it Damn bird. oh right these could come back on at any second let's go I have something all right yeah Sorry. Oh, hello. Friend or foe? They got past the security system? You cannot go any further. You are trespassing on Lord Matarame's territory. You guys ain't got nothing on us. I'm more scared of screwing up and having on yell at me. Fair enough. Let's go. There.
no. Alrighty then. Alright. Well. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Sorry. Kamaki-san, this is bad. Are these the lights? <gasps> what the... Isn't this Sayuri? Why are there so many of them? I have no idea. Get out! Sensei, what is the meaning of this? I suppose I can't keep quiet now that you've seen this. Truth be told, I'm in severe debt. I handmade these Sayuri copies and have been selling them through a special connection of mine. Why? The real Sayuri was stolen by one of my pupils long ago. I assume they begrudged my strictness. That moment was quite a shock for me. Since then, I've been mired in a terrible artist block. Because of this distress, some of my pupils handed their ideas over to me from time to time. Ah. <sighs> I knew I couldn't keep that up, so I attempted to recreate the Sayuri a number of times. However, it resulted in nothing more than replicas. That's when someone came to buy the paintings, knowing well they weren't original. It's all my fault. I couldn't pay the price of being famous. As expectations for me rose, it reached a point where I had no choice but to keep making them. I needed money to further your talents. I ask that you please forgive your cowardly teacher. Please, don't. Hold on. Something doesn't add up. If the original painting got stolen, how did you make copies of it? I happened to find a finely detailed photograph of it in an art book. So you managed to sell copies of a photo of the original? I'm not sure how this works, but... Don't people who buy paintings generally have a keen eye for the fine arts? Mm, this sounds like a lie to me. What would you know? Something just doesn't feel right. Lady On, this one seems different. Sayuri. This... This is the real Sayuri. You just said a moment ago that it was stolen. That's a replica. No, it's nothing of the sort. This painting kept me going. It's the reason I made it this far. Sensei, don't tell me. It's fake. Yes, a counterfeit. I heard there was a counterfeit spreading around, so I bought it. So you're telling me the actual artist behind the painting bought a counterfeit? That's pushing it. You're lying, Sensei. Please, just tell us the truth. 
you too. I've reported you to my private security company. What? I had it set up to deal with some problematic paparazzi, but I never thought it'd come in so handy. Please, wait. Let's talk about this. You can talk all you want to the police. That includes you, Yusuke. Lady on, let's run! A cat? Where did it... There's no point. They'll be here within two minutes. Takamaki-san! Yeah, let's go! Hey, look! It's somewhere. I wonder. All right. Whoa. All right. I hope those two managed to get away. You two are... I don't recall ever seeing this cat costume before, though. What is this place? We are inside Matarame's heart. Inside Sensei's heart? I'm sorry, Takamaki-san. But are you sure you're feeling okay? She ain't lying. This is what that bastard truly feels. He's nothing but a greed-filled money grubber. Enough of this rubbish! Kitagawa-kun, didn't it cross your mind that something wasn't right about Matarame? <sighs> That's... Uh... You may not want to believe it, but this is another reality as viewed through Matarame's eyes. This is his true nature. This repulsive world? Just who are all of you? I guess you could say we're a group that changes the hearts of rotten crooks. If everything you say is true, then the sensei I know doesn't exist. You gotta snap out of it. Still, he has kept me safe these past ten years. My gratitude for that won't just disappear. You're gonna forgive him? At this rate, you'll... Are you okay? I'm trying to be rational about this, but my emotions are overwhelming me. But we don't have time to dawdle. The security level's gone through the roof. We need to get out of here at once. <sighs> yes. We need to get out of here. That said, we have an amateur with us now. Let's try to avoid fighting as much as possible. So this is inside of Sensei's heart, a vain museum such as this? Hmm. Uh, this painting! Do you recognize it? We were thinking these might be his past pupils or something. But why are there paintings of them here? Technically, those aren't actually paintings. They're the pupils themselves. Matarame saw them as objects, so that's what they are in here. Oh, and, uh, we found yours, too. <sighs> we'll talk more later. For now, let's get out of here. Somewhere. <gasps> the exit is right there! <laughs> Who is it? What the... 
<laughs> Talk about bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Welcome to the museum of the master artist, Madarame. Huh? Sensei? Is that you? That attire? Disgusting. This... This is all one big lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. The Sayuri was stolen. Why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. Foolish child, you still don't see? Painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Ha <laughs> ha! How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that. No. The value of art is purely illusion. What's the matter with providing that illusion to eager customers? Though I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum. You're supposed to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame. You helped me greatly as well, Yusuke. God. Pisses me off. That's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. After all, it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back. I can't believe this. Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. But I tire of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you. So, you repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn brat! Then, dispose of these thieves! Get back! How amusing. Huh? <laughs> it seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? Kitagawa-kun? I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. Blind. And unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Have you finally come to your senses? <laughs> How foolishly you averted your eyes from the truth. A deplorable imitation indeed. Best you part from that aspect of yourself. Let us now forge a contract. <laughs> I am thou, thou art I. The world is filled with both beauty and vice. It is time you teach people which is which. Very well. 
come. Go him on. A breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish! Whoa, this is impressive! <laughs> Who do you think you are? The price for your insolence will be dead! Where are my guards? Kill them all! The children who adored you as father. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes, I will bring you to justice! Very well, bring it on! Presence of Lord Madarame! On your knees, intruders! I learned much from you, Madarame. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. With Goemon by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations. I am thou. Goemon! Way closer than I should have. Oh my god. You say you've just thrown your bright future down the drain. I'll destroy every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist. Matarame. You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me. Get back here. Why can't I move? Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. Come on, just listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But... Who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. 
That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father. But he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori, the very foundation of his art, like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I've been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. For real. What are you going to do now? I don't know. So, wait a second. Did, did my guy just say... Dude. It's okay. You just have been mentally abused for the past, like, you know, 15 years of your life. <laughs> Just brush it off, man. We can't help the fact that Madarame's gone and changed. But we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh, he put two and oh, two crap. together. Huh. We'll talk later. We need to scram. Didn't know our students could do change. That. You just noticed that now? Save it for after. Let's go. Yeah, you guys will definitely uh, get to know that uh, Yusuke is uh, not that bright. I see, and because of that, this PE teacher's had a change of heart. Phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. Right in front of you. Indeed. Well, I have to believe your words. Especially after seeing a world like that. So, your plan with Madarame, Sensei. With Madarame, is to force a change of heart, correct? Let me join. As a member of the Phantom Thieves. Had I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. I must put an end to this, for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was, in some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're gonna deal with Madarame anyways. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't fail-safe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. Kitagawa-kun. It's a deal, then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. I hope we get along, Yusuke. You better not slow us down. Well, I'll do my best. Thank you. I ask that you coach me well. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Madarame. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. <sighs> what did he say? He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, He's still furious about it, and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. Talk about being completely on guard. Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Maybe he still has more secrets. If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. Right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? 
we'll have to force a change of heart before then if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. By the way, what is this? Huh? A cat. But it's talking. You have a problem with that? No, not really. Why not? He's just on a different wavelength than other people. Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. Hmm. Hey, don't touch me like... I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. I bet he got that idea from a black cat. Oh! I didn't bring any money. Never mind. He's just weird. Art student. Hey. No, no, no. Legal action? This is funny. Please hear about this. I'll totally get in touch with the school. But we'll get expelled for sure this time. School would be the least of our worries. We'd end up arrested. Unlawful entry? Defamation? Guess that means we really can't afford to F it up this time. Yeah, from here on out, it's what really matters. We just need to change his heart before he presses charges. Try to focus on that problem for now. The inmate may you change your mind. The if you wish to perform an execution, let us begin the search. I see. A strong persona, indeed. You can't handle this. Uh -huh. More. Not boo -boo terrible. Boo -boo -boo. But not terrible. But not impressive. You okay with this? Yeah. I see. Uh, A strong persona, indeed. Yeah. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Will it gain new now for a rebirth? Finished for Justine. You handle this. Registration? Are you sure? Justine, 
You handled it. Read here. This a fee is required. This is your power. Time for let's execute him. What path do you curious. want? Tommy you okay with this? Not terrible, but not impressive. I love you, Ponta. you'd like to inherit. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Its power will be nothing on my mind. Finished for now. Done already. Do what? I have a break card? Oh, I should write something. Break card, do I? Skill cards. Just a blank one. Okay. Yeah, so. Justine, you read here. This fuel was drugged. This is your pop. You left pay. Are you finished? What? No slacking off. Alright. It is Sunday, so I'll go get my smooth. Hey. You fake. 
think. Wanna get going? All right. <laughs> I love the feeling of noodles sliding down my throat. <laughs> Sweat dripping over my face. This shit's the best, man. Ramen for life. Light soup like this really gets your body going again after a good run, you know? We used to come all the way out here after practice and... I guess that's all in the past. <sighs> By the way, I've seen Nakaoka after Nakaoka around a few times, but for some reason it don't look like he's getting along with the others. Are you worried about him? Yeah, kinda. <sighs> I've been thinking about what he said. How the whole track team was putting up with Kamashita shit, and how I effed it all up for him. I think he was right. They don't even got a club room anymore, so they've been storing all that stuff around the gym. They don't use any school gear either, so they just run laps around the block for practice. There ain't really a place for outcasts like that. I should know that better than anyone. It's good they're keeping their heads low, uh, low now though. I don't want them ending up like me. You're doing great, bud. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I guess now that I'm thinking about it, trying to put in, to fit in is a real pain in the ass. I mean, I never at you guys if I wasn't an outcast, right? So, uh, that's all good. <laughs> For real, though, it's been a shit ton of fun. Hanging out with you guys is so freaking cool. Less likely to be found in the metaverse while dashing. Alright. Hmm. I just hope there's something I can do to help those track so it'd probably mess him up if I tried to butt in. Oh yeah, we still gotta find a new spot for our training. Hmm. Think about it. No slacking off till then, okay? See ya. Ah, you're back. Hey. Ah, I'm gone. You got that? Good timing. I wanted to tell you something. Madarame was talking to a lawyer. I suppose he's serious about suing. I think we should advance our plans. Why don't we go to the palace today? Let's prepare first. True. You never know what will happen in the palace. We should prepare thoroughly. It's good having a calm, rational person nearby. I'm counting on you.
Hmm. All right. I guess that's fine. Okay. All right. All right, which one? Okay. Sounds good. Uh, come again. All right. Feel like I'm under. Kind of fucking around. Let's just go around. Yusuke, we still need to explain the basics. Oh, you mean about the metaverse and the nav? Please elaborate. Okay. First, the meta palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We all no. know this. The basic. On the basic then. Oh, yeah. it. Uh. Huh? <laughs> Really did not miss anything there. Oh yeah, we haven't decided on the new recruit's code name yet. It has to be Kitsune. You know, with that Kitsune mask and everything. Hell yeah, that really leaves an impression. Are you talking about me? What do you want your name over here to be? I'd say Da Vinci. Nope. Well, you've got that mask like On said, and there's that weird tail. All right, you're Aburage. <laughs> Very well. He's agreed to it. It's decided then, Aburage. Nah, -uh, not happening. Do you have any ideas, Joker? Just keep a literal, huh? Sounds good to me. What do you think, Fox? It's acceptable. It's set then. Let's go. By the way, we should have Joker decide who our starting lineup is from here on out. Starting lineup? You mean the ones who will be going in first? Yeah. Now that Fox has joined us, it'll be harder to move around as a group. We'll stand out more, too. Considering how we've operated to this point, we should have four starters. Anyone else can be backup. And I guess we always gotta have our leader with us, right? Exactly. That's why we'll have Joker choose the remaining three. And what should the backup do? Would it be best for them to stay outside of the palace? No. They should come in as well, but maintain a reasonable distance from the main group. In other words, the starting lineup is the first wave of our infiltration force. Well... We'll leave the team composition to you. I wonder Joker. who I'm going to leave out. Yeah. Hey, thanks. May I get a word in? Sorry to cause you trouble. Uh, okay, Yusuke is level 15. So we are slightly under. But that's fine. 
that. Okay. We're here. Now it's I'll just add this. Alright, that seems like a good place to stop. Next time we'll well next time probably being tomorrow, we'll finish up Madarame's palace and uh yeah. Cool.